should come to us before we come and find them. Question number 10, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Speaking my questions are to the Prime Minister and ask, uh, did the assurances that the Honourable John Banks gave his office regarding his compliance with the Local Electoral Act, uh, which he accepted, include an assurance that any donations for radio advertising during the 2010 mayoral election were correctly recorded? The Honourable Bill English on behalf of the Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, as I stated in the House on Tuesday, the Chief of Staff sought and received an assurance from Mr Banks that he had fully complied with the requirements of the Local Electoral Act in respect of donations. There were no assurances sought or received about details of any particular donations. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. How can advertising be donated anonymously when there is a requirement for authorisation and if the Prime Minister doesn't know, why didn't his office ask Mr Banks? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, I understand the member has uh, already made a complaint about anonymous, an anonymous donation for radio advertising and that this has been referred to the police for investigation. Uh, he could perhaps await the outcome of that investigation to get answers to those questions. The Honourable Trevor question. Mallard. Can the Prime Minister assure the House there is no link between the soft crown loan Stephen Joyce arranged for a radio chain he used to own and this radio advertising giving shortly afterwards to the National Party's preferred candidate for the Auckland mayoralty. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, no. The, um, the member, I think last week it was um, charter schools were part of this conspiracy and now something else is. Uh, you know, the fact is the me member has a complaint, he's referred that to the police and his attempts to get more media attention by constructing um, conspiracy theories might or might not work, we'll see. The Right Hon. Winston Peters. The National Party, as we speak, conducting polling in the Epsom electorate with the, with, with the question... The member, please proceed with this question. Yes, sir. And I do want it to be something that's uh, the Minister's responsibility. National Party polling is certainly nothing to do with the Minister's responsibility. With the National Party, as we speak, conducting polling in the Epsom electorate with the question, who would you vote for? Is that an ominous sign with respect to Mr John Banks that the assurances are not being accepted by the Prime Minister? <laughs> the Honourable Bill English, insofar uh, as there is ministerial responsibility. On behalf of the Prime Minister, the Minister... Uh, the Prime Minister accepts the assurances of the member for Epsom. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. To the Prime Minister, why did he say that he had absolutely no reason to doubt John Banks uh, was unaware of the dot-com donation, given Eck's own party president has said that splitting the donation from dot-com was one of the suggestions John Banks made to dot-com? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister uh, made that statement because he believes it to be the case uh, and hasn't seen, um, hasn't seen statements or evidence otherwise. The matter is in the hands of the police who are rightfully investigating. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Has he or his office questioned Mr Banks about the suggestion by the ACT Party President that one of the $25,000 donations was in fact from John Banks himself and did Mr Banks explain how he could give himself a donation and not know it? <laughs> the Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, as, as, uh, as the Prime, as, on behalf of the Prime Minister, as I said in the first answer, uh, an assurance was sought from Mr Banks that he had fully complied with the requirements of the electro Local Electoral Act in respect of donations. Uh, that assurance was given. Uh, no assurances have been sought about particular donations. Question number 11, Chris Ochenvall. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Conservation. What are the likely...